Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for January 29th, 2020. So, hey everyone, I hope you had a great evening, ready for another great day of trading. So how about we settle in and take a look at the Wednesday edition of the morning market prep. So first off, here today we're looking at uh, the diamonds, and diamonds has got some interesting things going on here, and um, some bullish things going on here as well. So let's take a look at what we have going in our charts. Try to set aside our bias and see what the market is doing. Well, first off, we have this trend, and obviously that trend was broken in um, that big move down and that scare on the coronavirus. As you can see, we have rallied back up to test price resistance in the chart yesterday. So still in that position where we have that resistance above and a concern, any place in here where we could get that failure. But as of this morning, bulls are pushing hard. As a matter of fact, even though we had kind of a, well, I, I didn't see anything yesterday in the earnings that was all of that all that impressive, but we're just ignoring the fact that the majority of the earnings last night were not bullish and we're hanging our hat on apple apple certainly the biggest one of the biggest stocks in the um, overall market and they reported good earnings and so that's what we're choosing to focus on this morning is that single report so right now we have a bullish um, move uh, pushing up here uh, as you can see this morning we have bulls trying to push back up toward those high levels of yesterday trying to put on that brave faith this morning ahead of earnings reports now keep in mind that we're also ignoring the coronavirus situation the the numbers during the night have spiked up to over 6,000 confirmed cases the united states the president has stopped all flights between U.S. and Canada in um, an effort to avoid uh, spreading the virus. Hong Kong overnight um, had a pretty rough night, dropping nearly 800 points um, as their concerns um, continue to expand about the virus and the economic impacts that this is creating um, in the Asian markets. Good news is that um, extend, the extension of the lunar holiday has kept China's markets closed, so we haven't seen that reaction over there yet as to uh, what kind of impacts they'll be seeing over there. Kind of an interesting situation. And right now, it's kind of interesting to me that the market is choosing to ignore um, those impacts. Yesterday, we had for the first time Starbucks mentioning that um, they expect the virus um, situation to negatively impact their earnings, uh, future earnings here going forward. So one of the first companies to uh, fess up to that. It's kind of interesting that um, market just doesn't want to seem to care about anything but going up right now. We're, we're choosing to ignore these potential impacts and we have to, we really have to imagine that once this is all over there will be some severe impacts over in Asian markets. We'll have to wait and see but kind of an interesting thing. Um, now we have a huge round of earnings today and that's probably the reason we're pushing up this morning. That huge round of earnings, um, lots of anticipation with a lot of big companies reporting so we'll talk about that in just a second but let's keep in mind we're pushing right back up here into this price resistance level that is a very difficult place for us to be adding new trades as we test resistance in a chart let's take a look at the spy spy very much the same thing nice bullish trend um, was broken and now we're pushing back up into resistance levels in the chart when we pop through there, we should be okay as long as we can prove to hold it as support, but pop through there and show us a 
pop and drop or something like that if we get that stumble here that would create that lower high creating some issues in the chart so let's be really careful about how we approach the market this morning and and be careful not to get caught up in the fear of missing out rushing in um, when we're just testing resistance in a chart let's take a look at the cues cues has been the strongest index and may continue to be the strongest index and may be the one that leads us out of this mess if we get enough of these good earnings um, coming from some of these big techs. So this morning you can see we're pushing back up trying to test that price resistance in the chart um, at the open. So a little bit of a gap up at the open. Just watch that very carefully. One thing I would suggest is just to be careful not to chase stocks that are already well within their move, already up, um, extended out from their support levels. We just want to be uh, wise on how we trade around. Um, kind of a very newsy day coming up today. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM also pushing up toward price resistance. We're just parked right there on that price resistance, trying to peak above it this morning and we'll have to deal with all of this little resistance level in the chart before we can move on up what i'd like to see with all of these charts is i want to see that pop through and that proof that we can hold and then buyer stepping in then i have something i can trade i don't want to just be racing in right at price resistance let's take a look at the vix now the VIX yesterday had a nice little pullback and as you can see we pulled back to this level of price support that I've had marked out here for a year um, in the chart more than a year probably in the chart and it extends way back over here and you can see we pulled back tested that level and held right in there on that level with a little bit of selling coming in at the end of the day yesterday now holding right here and our gap up this morning i would guess that we're going to drop back down below here and if we drop back down below uh, that support level. I think that's a good sign uh, fear maybe dropping out of the market. What I worry about is that we're ignoring issues right now and if we chase into this we could certainly bounce up off of here at any time. So let's watch that closely. If that fear actually begins to creep up we'll want to keep a close eye on that if it does pop higher. Let's take a look at T2122. Nice bounce back yesterday. And I, I mentioned yesterday, I, I hate those um, really big swing back up uh, moves because oftentimes they reverse themselves. We, here's an example where we're down here um, at that bullish reversal zone. We move all the way back up here to the mid range and then we came all the way back down um, the following day. And you can see it's kind of one of those things that happens on these big swinging days uh, that we have that possibility. Now the good news this morning is futures are showing bullishness trying to show a follow through here to the upside. Side. but we want to watch that carefully for that possibility that it is a false move that we get that pop and drop where we pop up in the morning gap up and then see sellers the rest of the day so right now if we're looking at t2122 what it's telling us is we have plenty of upside room to move in the market if we can find enough inspiration to do that it also tells us that we've opened up a big uh, opportunity for that downside move so it doesn't give us direction just tells us we have plenty of room both directions to move and we're just really going to have to focus on that price action see what that price action is giving us for clues for those opportunities to trade along with that so watch that really closely with that let's take a look at our economic calendar today and our economic calendar is a busy busy day for us as you can see we have first thing this morning we have international trading goods um, I, I wouldn't expect most of these reports to have much of an impact today but international trade of goods pending home sales EIA petroleum status report and then the big guy um, at the end of the day here the FOMC meeting now one of the things that can happen and is relatively typical it may be different today because of all the earnings reports and it may be different because we kind of know what the fomc is likely to do today 
But um, what typically happens as we lead up into an FOMC, we may get a bunch of morning activity and then it just kind of stalls and goes nowhere for a while. We get very, very choppy, light price action as we wait for that FOMC. I wouldn't be all surprised to see that even occur today, even with all the activity and all the things going on out there. So let's watch that close. Might get that morning pop and then just kind of goes nowhere. Um, as we wait for that rate decision. Of course, we can always see volatility around um, that FOMC announcement. We're not expecting any change in rates. I, I think uh, by and large, no one is really expecting a change in rates. What they really wanna hear is that the FOMC is going to maintain a policy of low rates for a long period of time. That's what we wanna hear. And um, there may be some concern um, or some conversation, of course, about um, um, repos and balance sheet um, that the FOMC has been increasing here um, recently, uh, raising that balance sheet. So um, that may be moving us around as well. On the earnings calendar today, we just have a huge group of earnings reports, and um, those reports will be coming out pretty fast and furiously this morning. One of the big ones that um, everyone's going to be paying attention to Tesla reports today. We'll want to keep an eye on that. We have um, Archer Daniels Midland reporting today. Um, we have um, Dow reporting today. It looks like it's already gapping up. General Dynamics reporting today. Um, looks like it's trying to move higher this morning. We have McDonald's reporting today. Looks like that one is moving down. We have GE reporting today, gapping up on GE, looking pretty good there. We have um, Las Vegas Sands. Now, the the casinos have been having a little bit of trouble here because any, any exposure over in China, the Macau area, things like that, um, they are looking at some major losses uh, coming in. So we'll want to keep an eye on some of these uh, casino stocks. They may be struggling with um, lower than normal revenues because of basically the cancellation of the lunar holiday over there. We also have Facebook that will be reporting today. That's going to be a big one after the close today, something we'll want to pay attention to. PayPal reporting today. We've got a lot of reports to deal with and a lot of back and forth. Now, the one that's going to be kind of interesting this morning is Boeing. Boeing um, also reporting today. I can't imagine they're going to have a great response in uh, their report, but we'll wait and see. And also Microsoft will be reporting after the bill today. So lots of big news, lots of big stocks reporting. We'll just have to keep a close eye on those trades as they continue to move along. By the way, AT&T also reporting. Looks like AT&T is moving just slightly lower this morning on its report. So with that, everyone, I want to um, wish you all a fantastic day in your trading. I want to wish you great results um, in all of your trading efforts today. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could do me a favor, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube, also click those um, uh, that bell icon so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you find these videos to be helpful in your preparation for the day, helpful in how you want to approach the market for today, if you could do me a favor and click those thumbs up buttons and leave a brief comment. Helps those algorithms continue to, to show these videos to more folks. We grow the channel, getting more and more people involved. And I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who does do that. You guys are awesome. I truly, truly appreciate it. So with that, let's take a look at some stocks that may be setting up today and things that you might want to be watching for. Yesterday, um, I actually took a position in Johnson & Johnson. Johnson & Johnson looking pretty good here. Um, 
this is a breakout. Let me pull this back. This is a breakout of um, long term uh, move up here and still looks really, really good because we broke out and held in here as a support. Buyers trying to push this up yesterday. So I took a position in J&J. Uh, &J. Now, I want to remind everyone every time I post a video here, and even though I may say I'm in it, doesn't necessarily mean the trade is right for me for you. Please understand that every time I post a trade here or show an idea, it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. Every single one of you need to do your own evaluation of that chart, determine whether the risk fits you or not, whether you like that trade, and um, make that decision yourself. So although I'm in that trade, this may not be a trade for you, so consider that carefully. Let's also take a look at some other trades setting up up. AAXN. This is a really pretty chart. This was actually brought up by one of the members of Rightway Options yesterday. Like this chart so much, I actually placed an alert here on the chart. Was looking at it yesterday for a potential trade, but I just didn't want to over trade as the market was pushing back up into price resistance levels. But AAXN, you can see in aerospace, holding up nicely and looks like it might move just slightly higher this morning. Possibility um, aerospace defense, we had um, LMT report last night and they reported a strong um, earnings result. So LMT um, may help this uh, move on up uh, today. So let's keep an eye on AAX and very nice looking chart, um, a nice potential setup. I was keeping an eye on Cisco here, but Boy, I got to tell you, Cisco has just been pretty darn disappointing um, overall. Not able to hold up in here. Now it's going to report on 212. Um, so far, you know, we're still holding this downtrend break where we broke the downtrend. We're still holding above that. But boy, the virus scare and everything has really caused some problems here with a lot of charts. So we're going to have to watch those pretty closely. A lot of that going on right now and making it a little bit tough to find good quality charts that aren't, um, well, struggling. Um, right now, pushing back up toward resistance levels. Let's take a look at LW, chart here in LW. I've mentioned this one several times before. LW looking really, really good in this tight consolidation. What that tight consolidation tell, told me is that no one wants to sell this stock. Um, after that big move up, no one wanted to sell it. This doesn't report until 4.7 now. And as you can see, we have plenty of time here. And yesterday we got a nice little pop. So don't be too surprised if this still kind of wanders over here toward its trend. But this is one of those that can start moving on out. And you can see the stock has been trending nicely for a long, long time. And, can, and there's no reason to believe it won't continue to do that um, uh, right now. So watch that pretty close. Um, other good stocks that you might want to take a look at. Um, saw some um, nice bullish price action here in uh, Newmont Mining yesterday. NEM, we broke through this resistance level, had an alert in this area, and then we pulled back, tested that area as support. So you can see a little bit of bullishness coming in here. If we can get any follow through to the upside on NEM, there may be an opportunity there in that chart. Another chart I've been keeping a pretty close eye on is Twitter. Twitter is coming back after um, you know that ugly sell-off on Monday. That ugly sell-off on Monday held this price support, and now we're pushing back up into price resistance. If that can kind of hang around in here, rest a little bit, and maybe show that those that opportunity of popping on through, maybe an opportunity there. One thing I will point out is not a big bunch of time here heading into that earnings report. So something to consider. And then um, some of the stocks that I think um, are looking pretty good right now are um, some of these cannabis stocks. Uh, CGC got an upgrade yesterday with a price target up in the 40s. Um, kind of surprising me that they went that high 
on their estimate of target. And you can see holding up really well made a nice little move back up. So even though we broke down on that support, we're rallying back up into that area. If we could hold in here for a day or two, proof to hold and then pop out, I would be um, really keeping an eye on stocks like CGC, um, Crone, trying to move back higher, TLRY, all of these cannabis socks seems to be trying to move back up um, after that big upgrade in CGC. So not too many stocks here that I want to cover today and the, the real reason is we just have so many earnings reports guys and so many stocks are pushing up pressing into resistance levels we have to be very careful I want to caution everyone to be careful not to chase trades or get caught up in the fear of missing out um, we want to watch those very very carefully so with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. Once again, if you haven't subscribed, click that subscribe button and also click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. Feel free to share these videos with any friends, family on Facebook or Twitter. And I truly appreciate everyone who does that. Y'all take care and we'll see you right back here bright and early, bright and early Thursday morning. Have a good one.